Hey guys, it's Lindsay here again. In the last video, I spoke about how to set up your Aweber list. Now I really want to talk about how to create a sign-up form through Aweber. Now the importance of a sign-up form is that is the form people are going to enter in their email, click the submit button so you can gather their email on your list. So for example, this right here is a sign-up form. No, I did not use Aweber for this. I use a different program to create my sign-up forms, which I will go over in later tutorials. But this is an opt-in form, and the same as this. This is another opt-in form. So we have a couple on our a couple different ones on our website that we use, um, and there's another one over here too, another opt-in box. So let me show you how you can, and you can create these forms through Aweber. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So first, you want to say your current list. You want to make sure you're on your list. So this is my list right now. This is the one that we built together in the first video. So this is our this is our list. Obviously, yours is not going to be named default. I hope you named it to something that's going to help you organize your list, maybe your website, maybe just your name, whatever you're trying to brand. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on sign up forms. And then you're going to create your first sign up form. Now, Aweber, Aweber is a really good tool because it's just literally point, click, type. So here's all the templates that they have. Um, they have, they group them into categories, popular, here, I'll do this one. So you just click on what you want, and you look. They have two different options you can use. So you can load this template. And you can resize it, make it bigger or smaller. You can, if you don't want this button on here, you just go ahead and exit off. If you don't want this over here, you can exit off. If you want to create So label email. If you want it to say something else, if you want to put email address, I don't know, whatever you want to write in here. Name, if you want your name field here, you can add the name field. I delete the name field. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for people to sign up. Your headers here, so you can go ahead, free training on how to make 1500 dollars a day on Facebook. And with this you can also change the colors, change the font, change how it looks, whatever you really want. So basically for purposes of this training I'm gonna make keep mine really simple but you guys can really See, look, there's advanced options here. You can add your own image in here. So really, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of things you can do through Aweber. But I, for, for purposes, I use a different software for opt-ins. So I really like to keep mine simple. So go ahead and save your form. And then we're going to go to step two, which is settings. Now go ahead and name your form. Now what I do for my forms, um, every form gets is a different, like, let me show you. So for this, this is going to be a different sign up form. than this, two different sign up forms because they're, they're offering two different things. So for this one, I would name this probably ebook. So I know that this form is for people that signed up to receive the ebook. So I'll name it ebook. Now thank you page. The thank you page is when somebody goes and signs up. So when someone enters their email here and they click send me my ebook, where is it going to go? What's going to happen? So the basic version is just a pre-Aweber form that's already made and set up and this is what it looks like. 
So it says you're almost done. Activate your your subscription. You were sent an email. It contains a confirmation link. Go ahead and click that link to make sure and that you're receiving our important information. Basically what this says. Or you can create your own. Maybe on your website you have your own thank you page. Maybe you use another software with a thank you page. Maybe you want it to go to your blog. I'm not sure. Or maybe you want it to go to a video. Here, smart video version. So look. Please check your inbox now to confirm your subscription. See? Aweber did a video and they can do that. So basically it's up to you what if you want your own custom URL, go ahead and enter it in now if you have your own web page you want it to go to. If you want it to stay on the current page, so basically when someone types in their email here, send my free ebook, nothing happens, they stay on this exact same page. So I'm going to put on basic version, already subscribe page. So if somebody has already subscribed to your ebook and they're trying to do it again, they already have subscribed, what's going to happen is you can either do the basic version, which literally says, oops, you've already subscribed, please check your inbox for the confirmation email and click the link inside. Or you can send them to your own, your own custom URL page. I'm going to send them to the basic version. Now there are advanced options here, tracking and what to start your messages on. This is a little more advanced. I'll go over it in the next video on exactly how to do um, follow-up series of messages for the new people that sign up. Let's go ahead and save your form. And then we're going to go to step three, which is publish. Now there are three options. You can install your form yourself. You can have someone else install it for you, or you can have Aweber host your form. Now, this is where it may get a little confusing for some people. Aweber hosts your form. It's literally a link. Now, what this link is, say you're on Facebook and you really want to promote whatever you're selling. So you're going to say, free ebook on gardening. Maybe that's your headline. And you say, click the link to receive it now. So you post that link on Facebook, which will be this link. This is Aweber's hosting your form. And then when someone clicks on this link, it's going to look like this the exact thing that we just made. So then they enter their email address, they click sign up, and then what happens is they will receive that, whatever you decided to put as your confirmation. So, you know, I put the, please activate your subscription, go to your email and click on confirm the link. So that is when Aweber hosts your form itself. The link is live. All you got to do is just send people to that link. Now, if you want to install your own form, you have two versions. You have JavaScript and then you have raw HTML. I have no idea what JavaScript is. I do not use it at all. I use the raw HTML version. This is a little more advanced. I don't care about my format because like I said before, I use a different program to create my opt-in boxes. So in that program, I create my opt-in box and then it asks me how I want to integrate my form. And then I click Aweber from the list and then I just copy, I literally copy and paste this entire thing. Now this is, now like I said, it's a little more advanced, but the program I use walks you through how to do it. So when I have created this and then asked how to integrate it, my opt-in form, I click Aweber and then I literally just copy and paste it into this box and then click save and then every time someone enters in their email, it will go to my Aweber. So that's the alternate form to use if you don't want to send people have Aweber host it, you want to host it yourself. And that's it. That's it for this video. I just showed you how to do a sign up form. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do a follow up series and broadcast for your email list.